Alright, how are you going there guys? Diesel for Getting Reynolds, Camp Trailer Traveling. Thanks for joining us for another episode. So I've got a review video coming up today for you. I'm going to tell you why I got it and then I'll, then I'll tell you what it is and then we're going to install it and, and check it all out and see what's going on. But first, why don't you grab yourself a tinny. Let's get into it. Cheers. Sit and have a beer or So first things first, I just want to shout out and thank everyone that subscribed to our channel and liked the videos and dropping comments and all that sort of stuff. You guys are amazing and um yeah so for, for me it's really inspiring and motivating to, to get your feedback and hear what you guys think. Also just want to say we really appreciate it. And if you haven't um, jumped on board yet, consider hitting the button and, and, uh, and let us know what you think at the end of the video. Yeah, but I think this is going to be one of the final pieces of the puzzle for us. Now, for those of you who have seen this and you know looked at it and gone, what do you need a bloody shower for, you idiot? You go in on the camper trailer. Yeah, true, we have, but I'm also looking to do some overlanding trips and um, some remote sort of off-grid outback sort of stuff as well. And, and uh, let's be honest, sometimes I want to go camping without the kids and the family and um, get out in amongst it with mates and just want to get out with the bajero and the swag. And um, yeah, one thing I don't have is a bloody shower. That's where this one comes in. Um, done a lot of research, I've been looking for a while. And uh, the one I've set on today is the San Hema. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm doing this video because I'm sure there's other people out there like me who haven't ever had one of these things. Um, Never bought one, never installed one, and pretty keen to find out how it goes. And I've got to, got to be honest with you, I've got no idea how I'm going to fit this one and, and set it all up yet. Um, but I'm going to work it out. I'm going to take you along for the journey. So stick around for that. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure I'll stuff something up, but um, either way, I'll have some fun doing it. So anyway, enough crapping on. I'll bloody, I'll open this one up and we'll give you a look, and um, we'll actually see what, uh, see what we've got in here. So first with the shower tent here, obviously you've got a couple of brackets there, in there, it's basically um, bolts and bits and pieces and screws and uh, more bracket bits. For the shower tent here, you've got these four pegs, which now these pegs will actually light up in the dark and these are actually hammering ones rather than drilling ones, so I'm unsure if I'll use those or I'll just use the drilling ones I got with the drill. Now I'm likely going to be fixing this thing in the hard ground. Um, so I have a feeling the screws will be the go, but if not, um, we'll get those ones and obviously lighting in the dark might uh, save me from doing myself a mischief. And there you go, so there's the hot water unit. Now this one does come in white as well. In hindsight, I probably maybe should have went a white one because the Pajero is white. I know for some reason, I just thought the black would go better with the rest of the gear and uh, maybe wouldn't look so dirty. And uh, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to find some sort of way to hang them up with this one here, but but that's a problem for later. So in here we got the shower hose, shower head, um, water pump. We got some hose fitting and a couple more screws there that are at this point I have no idea what they're for. Anyway, now it's time to get this thing fit on there. Let's go. What I want to show you now is maybe it was me being a bit naive. I thought you could just get these things. It comes with all the bits and pieces you need, and you just, you just, you know, bang it all up. And unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So yesterday, I've been to a couple of spots and grabbed a few things. I'm not 100% sure if I've got everything I need. But the first thing I noticed was, so this is the water pump here. Now, um, as you can see here, all the wiring there is just a positive and negative, but it's just loose wires. So obviously, gonna have to figure out a way to. Um, connect it up, but I'll go through that in a sec. Another one is the uh, where the where the hose clips on and on both sides here. It's actually not a not like a regular size garden hose, so I actually get had to get some different size hose for that as well. 
Now you may already have a gas bottle with the newer fitting, but um, with these ones here, it's actually the bigger one here. So for the water pump there, I'm actually gonna solder this one up here and connect it via Anderson plug. Now I've got the Rhino platform roof rack. The bolts they supply in this same instruction manual um, to use T-bolts rather than the other ones they've got there. So it been down to Auto Barn there and got got some um, some T-bolts for the roof. Uh, 10 mil tubing's what I got as well. Got some hose clamps there. You know, something else I had to try and figure out is, like I said, the water pump is the smallest size, which is a 10 mil. Now the bottom of the hot water system connects up with just your regular hose clamp. Now clearly the two don't go together, so I basically just found this one here from Bunnings. It's a, it's a 10 mil to, um, I think it's 13 mil. That allowed me to connect all that up there. Now, like I said before, perhaps I was being a bit naive, thinking all these things are included in it. They're not, so if you're looking for a Sanhima one, they're most likely the bits you're gonna need. If they're not, and I've got the wrong bits, you're gonna find out along with me. All right, so I've got these two soldered on there nicely now. Just gonna push him through here. They won't pull out and suddenly she's all plugged in and, and ready to go. All right, so next bit now is getting these um, brackets on here. It's as easy as one in here, that just pops out. Now, these are the bolts um, that were supplied. Just goes in the channel there. There's only one way they can go on. Slide them through. Whether you choose to put the brackets on the car first or put these on first, I guess is a personal preference. Uh, for me, this is the way I'm choosing to do it. We'll soon see if it's a good idea or not. Now, a little spanner was supplied as well, which is handy. Now there's six holes here in this bracket which, which is great because you can actually set your distance. Now at this point I'm not exactly sure how far out I need to come because clearly I want it about far enough so the awning isn't um, isn't sitting on the car and I don't actually you know, lose, um, lose space but at the same time I don't want to you know, have it bloody sticking out halfway off the car half a metre off the car either, but... I think where it is, it's pretty close. I'm, end of the day, I'm just going to have to try it and... and uh, tinker it as, uh, as I think I need, you know, as it feels right. Sure at this point what the correct distance is. All right, so next up now is trying to get all these uh, plumbing fittings sorted out for the hot water system. Each spot or terminal is actually um, labelled as well, so water input, water output, off and on switch there. To power that, to power this thing, it does take two double D batteries to go on there. So I'll just bloody go and grab those. Yeah, look, apologies, I didn't record a lot of this stuff. It was just too hard, but anyway, I'll show you what I've done, and then I'll show you all the gear, so. So this is where I fitted the water pump. Obviously just for these four screws here. That was the Anderson plug I fitted there. So I'll connect that one up in a sec. Got a water container here for the water. This one here, I'll run into this drum here, and this is the hose that runs all the way around to the hot water system, which, which I'll show you in a sec. One on the left there connects up to the shower head, which which obviously goes up on onto the, uh, the shower curtain there. This one here runs down there into the gas bottle. All right, so the weather's picked up here now, but basically a bit a quick run through here. So I've got the two batteries going on there. I told you about the connections before. 
there's the on switch there uh, settings wise that one's the temperature on the left there it's pretty easy just you just turn the knob uh, I got a summer and a winter setting there as well and this one here is the pressure so I'll give you a look in a sec but basically all you do is I'll set it to to hot and uh, little knob here hear it clicking and igniting once that senses water coming through it'll turn itself on we'll see how long it takes to get warm there you go that's hot now so basically I'll, I'll just turn it off but um I counted 30 seconds and hot water started coming through oh, you see there the pressure's pressure's pretty good and all right so now we got that sorted out I'll start back around with this and let's get the shower tent set up So it's just these two hooks here. And he goes. You just use these straps here to set your height from the ground. There you go. All right, so while I'm in here, there's actually a decent amount of room in here. Chuck in your shampoo or shower gel or whatever. You got another one there. And uh, yeah, look, there's the shower head there. That bar there, just goes all the way down there. There's actually an LED light strip just along here, which connects via, via USB as well. So I'm um, sharing a night time unit. You don't need to grab a bloody light, which is handy. Um, just something to remember, this one comes in white as well as black. It does come with the, the, sh the hot water system and the, and the shower tent, all the, in the same kit. I'll chuck on the screen what, uh, which one it is now and uh, what price it is. So being a first timer and put one of these things together and install it, it wasn't too bad. Uh, in regards to the setup for the Bajero, you see where I've got the water pump. As for how I'm going to store this thing uh, and the shower head and those things when I'm on the road, I haven't worked it out yet. So on the system itself, uh, super easy to operate, you basically um, hook it all up and flick the switch and um, just set your water flow, set your temperature. It was pretty easy uh, for a first timer. And uh, when you hit the shower, you know, that's when that kicks in. And uh, 30 seconds it took for the hot water to come through. Uh, the shower tent itself, uh, all pretty easy. One thing it was missing was it, come, it comes with four pegs, but where the zip lines up um, down the guts there, there's obviously would need a fifth one there but um that's probably one thing that's required so we'll need to find a fifth peg to put that in the shower tent material itself was pretty thick and uh pretty durable as well so even in the wind as you've seen there was um it was still usable as well whereas obviously my camper trailer one trying to use that the wind it's just too flimsy and all it does is stick to you when you're trying to have a shower which is which is a, which is pretty annoying um when we're off grid doing some overlanding stuff as well we will be using that um shower tent uh, for the portable toilet as well. For anyone wondering, why do you go the Sam Hamer one? I've been looking at a shower uh, kit uh, for a little while, and I looked at a few different companies. And the reason I went with these guys, um, which is actually supplied by Vic Off Road, which is a, a store in Melbourne. Um, so this one here was three ninety nine. But what I got with these guys, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you something as well. And um, I'm not sure if it's been the same for you guys or but I, but I imagine it is um, good old-fashioned service 
these guys here, I was able to ask, ask some questions and talk to them a bit and always got back to me. Or I didn't feel like I had to chase them up for stuff, whereas I can tell you with all the camera gear I've been getting over this, this last year or so, I've talked to quite a few different companies about a few different things and the amount of companies that just don't get back to you, even when you're, you know, you're looking to spend some serious money with them, um, you just hear nothing from them, which which blows my mind. But um, these guys at Vic Off Road, they're, you know, super nice. So thanks, Bob, and um, thanks, Stanley, as well. So I think that'll about wrap it up here now. What I would like to do, if you let me know in the comments, is if you've used this, what did you think? Or if you got something else, tell me what you got, tell me what you like, and tell me what you didn't like. And, uh, and if and if you got any questions about anything I didn't cover off in regards to the installation, and it's thanks to you guys um, regularly supporting me, which has allowed me to, to get some of these products and the money that I'm making off the YouTube now is all going to you know it's all going I'm investing back into the channel and I'm Diesel for Getting Right Oz, Camper Trailer Travel. Thanks for watching. Cheers. That'll do it, eh? Yeah. I haven't stopped recording the video. Yeah. Mum, are you sure it didn't? No, it hasn't stopped recording.